Hey, what's up? It's Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon with the very, 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 very first map of Fire Emblem history, Marth and Barks. I'm Mecha. I'm joined here once again by Raisins, and we're going to insert my Patreon's units into Chapter 1. Are you ready, Raisins? That's right. I am the very first map ever. All of the ones in the previous 10 games are just actually... They, they were just test runs. They were beta tests for this one. And th this is actually truly how the game was meant to be played. But just, no, this, this is a recreation this of the very first map. Yeah, just this map. Actually, once you're done with this, you've played all of Fire Emblem. <laughs> you've done the whole thing. <laughs> the most prototype of oh prototypes. Oh my god. Rift it destroyed Emblem. the village? Bro. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We can still save it, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the same cutscene here, too. Yeah, I know. It's just a recreation. Now, this is where you would normally be begin a campaign of FE11, right? If you were just ordinarily yes. playing hard. Like if you got your own FE11 copy and you clicked hard five, this would be map number one. Uh, but we have a couple of trained units already. So yes. we've already got Marth level five and who else did we train again? Uh, we trained all by like one combat. Hard <laughs> <laughs> uh, trained his silver axe down to 12 uses. Oh, true. Uh, okay. Oscar, I think he got like barely any level ups. Uh, that's kind of it. The other units here that we have are all new and should be discussed in a moment. Let's look at the map real briefly before we do that. Uh, so we yeah, have yeah. Steve here to destroy. Uh, he destroyed one village in the cutscene. We better make sure he doesn't get another one. Uh, Marth can get this village for us. We have an armory to visit after we get some gold. And then there's a bunch of pirates. Uh, these enemies still not quite indicative of how strong the enemies get on hard five, but they will destroy you if you don't like respect them a little bit. Uh, again, Shadow mm -hmm. Dragon is a game with very high hit rates, so these pirates will most of the time hit you. Uh, their hit rates are just way higher than something like FE6 uh, Brigands. Uh, there you would face like 30 hit. These guys have like 100 uh, base and they probably will have like 50 to 60 on your units at the very least. Uh, but it's just pirates and like one hunter and a boss over here and another village to save. Pretty basic. As far as introductory chapters go, as far as tutorial chapters go, this is pretty good. And uh, normally this is where in Shadow Dragon you'd learn about the weapon triangle. Um, well, if you're just playing from a new file, you'd be like, oh, my lance units are bad against pirates. My sword units are good against pirates. We already learned that lesson in the prologue. So instead, we have an axe unit, we have a bow unit, uh, but we do have a sword unit. And we also have our old squad, of course. Now, Raisins, is there any, any of these units that you want to particularly see first? Or shall we just do the archer first? Because she's first on my list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have... Uh... The new the u new units we have is this Myrmidon, this archer, and this axe fighter. Let's see let's see the archer. Let's see the archer. Right, let's see the archer. Let's see if I can get her on screen here. Oh no. It's the one and only <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Dorothy. Hey, look. Modi submitted Dorothy knowing that she'd probably be bad because if I can, I will port over their growth rates and base stats one to one with no changes and we'll see how they hold up. During mm. testing, I did notice that Dorothy and anyone kind of like her did not hold up. So I wanted to find something to give to them. And just like with Alm in the in the prologue, I decided, let's just give her a really high rank and see how it works. Now with Alm, the problem is that even though you have a high sword rank and you're supposed to get plus three might every combat through having that, uh, you lose that advantage every time you're at weapon triangle disadvantage. So whenever Alm goes up against the many, many lance users that will face from chapter four onwards, uh, he'll just lose that bonus most of the time. Like, maybe not all the time, but enough to where it's a significant hindrance. Uh, Dorothy never faces weapon triangle disadvantage. There is no room for bows in the weapon triangle. It's, it's, it has try in a name. There's only swords, lances, and axes. So Dorothy will always have, from top of my head, plus two attack and plus, I want to say plus 12 hit or so. I lost track of it. Uh, I guess plus just... 10 hit. Is it plus, is 10 it plus hit? five? I, I, you know what? I'm just going to pull it up. We can, <laughs> we can make up, up numbers. <laughs> Or, or we could actually find out the facts, uh -huh. right? Like, I'll, I'll pull it up, I'll uh, uh -huh. finish well, your idea of Dorothy. Well, the, why, the, why did she end up being so bad? Like, uh, or oh, why do you think? Oh, her stats are so bad. <laughs> like, look I at mean, her well, stats, yeah. it's not very good. Uh, the, even, the base stats are kind of low. <laughs> yeah, even within FE6, Dorothy's stats are not exactly the highest, especially because she joins on a level. Her joining situation in this game, in particular, is a little bit better because she joins in Chapter 1 as opposed to Chapter 6, with bases that could honestly just fit in Chapter 1. So I think she'll be fine. There is a place for bows in Shadow Dragon. This is a game where enemies hit quite hard. Some would call it a player phase based game. And so Dorothy rarely faces counterattacks. And Dorothy has an easy time hiding from enemies to let tankier units take those hits. You do need those tanky units because Dorothy herself does not want to take those hits and just not counter the enemy. But if you have them, then Dorothy is a perfectly fine supplement to a tanky frontline. 
and possibly more helpful than having like a mediocre frontline at some times. I won't lie though, her bases are bad and they'll take some time to make it work. Just like with all units, I'm going to try to make it work a little bit. Uh, I can make no guarantees, not even to Modi, despite all the money he pays me. Uh, but I'm looking forward <laughs> to see how well Dorothy does in the first like three or four chapters where we have no choice but to basically deploy everyone. And you know, I, I think she'll be fine at least for those and maybe beyond that. Um, any additional thoughts, Raisins? Yeah, I mean, I think she'll be fine and serviceable during these first few chapters. I understand that we're kind of like playing under this self-imposed restriction where we're not allowed to reclass her, True. of course. So she's going to be in Archer and then Sniper, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not Horseman Bowman. It's always Archer Sniper for her. Yes. Uh, throughout the entire time. So uh, I can understand that would definitely like put a damper on it. I was looking at the growths and being like, ah, these are insane. But yeah, what if she just like never actually reaches the EXP required to even activate these, right? Of course... I, I do like appreciate you mentioning that her joining situation here is much better than FE6 because FE6 yeah she shows up and it's like we've had five chapters to make units better than you, but now it's like we haven't had that yet. I guess we've only had like four prologue chapters, but even then all we made was Marth. So like, do we really? Help? I'm kidding, <laughs> but no, uh, I think this Dorothy will be like at the very least like passable for a short while. I'm quite looking forward to using her during these chapters. All right, that was my email notification program, not yours. My apologies. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you brought up um, there's a promotion actually because there's one more thing to say about Dorothy and the sniper promotion in this game is quite good. Generally promotion bonus, bonus <laughs> promotion bonus gains in this game are quite nice, uh, but sniper especially has fantastic bases. Uh, Dorothy is not the only archer in this game that can use those of course, there might be others that have better stats. Uh, but generally, you'll be pleasantly surprised if you use a sniper in this game, if you're used to how mediocre they can be in other games. Like, if Dorothy just gets to level 10, she can be quite tolerable, especially in a context where there's no reclassing. So, if she makes it there, she might honestly be pretty serviceable, like, say, George from Shadow Dragon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I found pretty frequently, whenever I had just, like, some flunky pre-promote in my Shadow Dragon playthrough, I just, like, put them in sniper. Mm -hmm. Just because it, like, activates some nice stats and has a C-rank weapon, but... In any case, uh, I think we've said enough about Dorothy. I'm really curious to see the next one. Yes. All right. So next one, we'll do the Myrmidon. Uh, he's over here. And that right there is my man, Rutger. <laughs> the other FE6 unit. Okay. Yeah. yeah, two FE6 units in a row, actually. I The, the last one is not FE6, technically. Mm -hmm. um, but Rutger... They gave him his hard mode bases? Cheater? Yep. Oh my goodness. Yep. So uh, there was a build before too where we also had a killing edge. I, I took that away because that seems a little bit too strong and I also nerfed his sword rank. It used to be, I think, C. Uh, I was like, alright, we'll make the we'll make that D. He'll be fine. It's kind of like having Ogma from the traditional Shadow Dragon, but the chapter earlier. A uh, bit more speed. Uh, kind of comparable bulk, honestly. He'll be really nice against these pirates, I'm not going to lie. The thing about Rutger though, is that he's considered one of the best units in FE6, uh, depending on who you ask. Most people will put him in top 5, uh, but at the very least top 10. Uh, that's because FE6 does everything possible to make Swordmasters good. It makes accuracy and attack speed matter a lot. Uh, it gives him a 30% crit bonus uh, whenever they attack anything. Um, the high avoid works well against the low enemy hit. None of those factors are in this game. I don't believe Swordmasters even have a crit bonus. I think they might have like a hit bonus. But it's very tiny. They um, have a plus 10 hit bonus. Yeah, yeah I just looked it up. It's awful uh, because they don't have trouble hitting things in the first place. And on top of that, like, he has the own problem of losing his sword rank if he builds that uh, when he attacks Lance enemies. Uh, he doesn't even have a good starting sword rank in the first place. Uh, the attack speed, I guess it still matters that he can double almost everything, surely, with the 50% speed growth on top of the 15 base speed. Uh, but once the pirates are gone, I expect Rutger to fall off, but that's one of the things I'm curious about with modern submission of Rutger, is does he actually still have a niche within Shadow Dragon, or is he just bad? Because in the past in Shadow Dragon, whenever I've been trying to use someone like Athena or uh, even Navar in their base classes, of Meridon, it just wouldn't work out very well. I would never really have a reason to use them. I'd much rather be using almost any other class, despite, you know, the highest speed and all the other minor advantages that they have. So, can one of the best units from FE6 hold up in a game where the mechanics are no longer in his favor? I guess it's kind of like the reverse of Lin and the Binding Blade in that sense. So I'm curious mm. uh, whether he will, but for the first couple chapters, he's going to be monstrous, because I think he can either one round or two round almost every axe enemy at the very least. So, do you think he'll hold up, Raisins? Yeah, I mean, like, just kind of looking at his stats, I understand there's this whole concern that he'll lose his bonuses from weapon rank or whatever when he's facing lance enemies, but 
I mean, we're currently looking at his stats with no weapon rank bonuses because he only has two rank swords, and these look like pretty fine, right? Like 17 attack and 15 speed. I understand he currently has the steel sword equipped. I don't know, is he being weighed down by this at all? Uh, no, because he has 17 avoid the steel yeah, sword. It weighs eight, so uh, he doesn't lose any speed right now. He's, might as well just yeah. keep using that. So he's just getting the full 15 speed, yeah. So, like, I this still looks like pretty serviceable. I guess if the enemies will be having a rank lances, and that means they have a massive, you know, weapon triangle bonus against him. But I mean, to be honest, these stats look like pretty good. I understand there's kind of the concern of you know how much speed is too much speed, probably however much Rucker has. But <laughs> like, <laughs> well, he still doubles right now at least, so that's good. Yeah, like uh, doubling now is very good. But you know, if we're talking about his future as a sword master, it's like, okay, how this is maybe a bit excessive and I want to be boosting the attack, but the attack doesn't even look like that bad. His twenty six base HP is pretty great too. Uh -huh. Right? Like that's I think that's one of the larger numbers on our team, matter of fact. Mm -hmm. I think maybe Har is higher. And that's it, if that even. Uh yeah. Rosado certainly isn't, that's for sure. But like yeah. These hard stats look pretty freaking sweet. I'm gonna be real, so I'm not really concerned about his fall off. I think mm -hmm. this will be a good unit. Yeah. That's, this is my prediction. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know if your prediction included this. I just noticed that my stat screen says he is 50% strength growth. I'm pretty sure he has 30. I'd have to double check that, but I think FE6 growth is way lower than 50%. Uh, so I have to double check that. Um, yeah, we'd have to not, see. If not, we'll see it in editing. Uh, but. I'm, I'm going to play under the presumption that it's 30% and his attack will be a, a problem at some point. He might stop being able to two-shot things. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see, though. All right, so uh, remember when I said the Axe Fighter was technically not from FE6? Oh. Well, let's we'll see it. It's Bartray. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he is! Get out of here! But this is FE7 Bartray, so I didn't, oh. like, completely lie. I mean, he's like, he looks younger, sure. He, <laughs> he always looked this young, man. That's what it was. Come on. He's young in mindset. Look at this. Oh, actually, well, no, this actually is just FE7 Bartray, though, for yeah. real. This yeah. is, uh... <laughs> you can tell yeah. because he has three base speed, uh, the famous funny number that doesn't let him double anything, anything. ever. <laughs> it is, anything ever. It is illegal to double any unit with this guy. Um, <laughs> do, do we just say he sucks and move on? I mean, like, certainly we're going to give him a go, right? <laughs> like, I will say this, three speed is enough to not get doubled in this chapter, at least. I think he has Ooh. similar speed to Draug in Vanilla. Where, uh, thanks to Thick Mulder, by the way, for submitting this funny unit. Uh, I think he has similar speed to Drug, where in Chapter 1 he doesn't get doubled, and then immediately after, if he doesn't gain speed, he gets doubled, which is a little bit similar to how he plays in FE7 sometimes, where if he can get that one point of speed early on, he can at least double zero ES soldiers, and maybe avoid getting doubles by, doubled by some other things. So, I guess we can kind of let it hang on whether he gets speed or not. I've had Bartrays get a bunch of speed in FE7 and turn out quite well. Uh, but it's not something you can rely on happening with a 40% growth. He's likely to get it like roughly once every two level ups, but every single one you have to give him before he gets that first level of speed is going to be a massive pain. He does have reasonably high attack, and he's one of those units again that I thought needed a bit of a buff, so I gave him that weapon rank bonus. It didn't quite go to A, I wanted to see if he could work with B, plus B is for Barche, right? So... Oh, true, true. <laughs> He's gonna work with B rank axes, which from the top of my head gives 10 hit exactly and goes to 50 when he hits A. That will be quite a ways away. Uh, War promotion, I don't remember being particularly great in this game, and uh, honestly, most people that can go warrior in this game want to reclass the hero instead. With that not being an option for him, I don't think he's gonna be particularly fantastic unless he somehow works out well with bows, uh, but I think he has to work with E rank bows from a promoted version of a warrior. Yeah, I don't, I don't have super high hopes for Bartre, but yeah, you, I didn't I didn't pick these units, all right. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I legit forgot that Warrior was even in this game. I'm like, man, it's probably like total trash. But yeah, I mean, like, I, I guess that's something we'll think about if we manage to get Bartre eight levels right. Like, I don't know what fantastic universe we'll live in where we'll have like you know 11 speed level 10 Bartre, insane, right? If that could even happen with the dynamic growth system, which I think is in this game, mm -hmm. uh, I'm always a bit fuzzy on how exactly that system works but i mean this guy's like yeah i guess we could ship him with a hand axe he's he's basically a second copy of Alm if you think about it right <laughs> and I'm, i don't know we made Alm work like kind of so maybe we'll be okay Alm actually has more attack than he does funnily enough. yeah no, i guess i don't know it's the same strat we'll just ship him all right just ship it let's go all right, but so what's the strat here? So, I mean, you said that these units are like not indicative of the difficulty of hard five, but if I recall, I feel like these are the guys that kind of like 
I run into them and I'm like, holy crap, this this game's kind of got hands straight away. But maybe that was the boss. Yeah, uh, the boss and is maybe particularly that was tough. Yeah, we'll get to him when we get to him. He is like something else, but he doesn't have a range attack. So at least this boss is all right. Uh, I suppose right. we can start off by having Marthus visit this village. It's like a forced move, basically. Yeah, to get our unless you want to... 10,000 gold. Skip this 10,000 gold in the game with DSFE forging, you know? Like... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, we could have Bartra fight this first pirate, but Bartra does not have enough attacks to two-shot enemy pirates. <laughs> Fortunately enough for them, uh, he has 16 What about minutes. with help, some, help from Dorothy, though? It's not like we need to 1v1. Yeah, that's true. I just feel like, you know, we could do it with a stronger start, especially because more pirates will move. I'm trying to see if Rutger one-rounds this guy. He has 17 attack. I think he does, even with the Steel Sword, so we could start with, an, like, we could kill, we could weaken with the Iron Sword. We can treat Rutger as our pseudo jig in here, throw him in his mm -hmm. forest. Have yeah, he does actually perfectly one around that. So mm -hmm. if we're we're going onto the forest, is there like a risk of him missing? I'm always a fan. I'm always a fan of just like having everybody out of the plus avoid terrain, right? Like I understand, mm -hmm. yeah, it means our units take more damage, but also it's like I, I feel like it's slightly easier to control things if everybody, including enemies, has like as close to a hundred, or rather, if everybody has as close to a hundred hit as possible. And I'm fine with giving the enemies more hit if that means like that's, if that's what I have to do. I, I just think like the Rutger will be able to finish them no matter what. So that's yeah. true. And I like already committed. So what, what can we do, right? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of not having a hundred hit, <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just bringing battle ends. Uh, I'm hoping to to Rosado, but uh, it might be better to not take some damage here because we don't have a healer yet. Uh -huh. So we might just have to do this and then feed to Alm. Hopefully he hits. Have to feed to all. Oh, no. The, we get to feed to all. I guess. Oh, this will work, I think. This is like pretty fine. I don't mind this. Get him all. See, there we go. Look how much accuracy this Alm guy has. Bartray would lose that weapon rank bonus he gave him. <laughs> this is true. All right, let's move up you. And let's have Har buy some stuff because he can afford to fall behind a little bit before he catches back up. Uh, yeah, what's in this armory? You never get Iron Axe, like X users in. FE1 until chapter 2. So I find it funny that there's still Iron Axe is here. Here we go. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. And there's like no convoy either, right? Uh, there's a convoy here. Uh, oh, I meant in, uh, in FE1. You the, just like. FE1, you buy just them, say, like, Yeah, the, the, FE1 is like you, if you go to an armory with a full inventory, you can't buy anything. You have to dump <laughs> it off at the convoy for a gold cost, and like, ugh, it's terrible. You have to sell. I mean, there's like so much money. Like, how about you just buy whatever you want to buy? But yeah, we can get some basic weapons. There's no like uh, preps armory in this game, right? There it's is. Just... There is, but it's not right. until chapter four that we get access to it. Oh, okay, Rutger. All right. I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Jagan tax, right? All right. <laughs> just as planned. Somehow, I think I should have expected this. Okay, so there was one pirate that didn't move. I think it was one of these two. So let's maybe chill out of their range for a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. try to get this guy out of here with Dorothy and Rutger and Bartre. Oh, we can get the fort. I do want to feed the Bartre. Maybe Dorothy plus Bartre is enough. Dorothy with the steel bow. Dorothy steel bow. Bartre with the what now? Can uh, Bartre do fourteen? No I way, don't right? Think he can. We might have to. Can Rosado come up with the javelin, or maybe, or maybe Har? Yeah, both of those should work. Ten move, baby. Yeah, no. We don't have. <laughs> it's DSFE moment. We don't have infinite space around this guy for. Um, like tosses, but I think we can afford to try this at least. Yeah, the square directly north is like never going to be occupied by anyone else, right? So we might exactly. as well use it. All right, good job, right. Har. Get in there, Dorothy. We Need might to as well kill your bow. favorite unit. Yeah, what's the point of using steel bow? Like everybody does at least four, right? Get him, Dorothy. Oh, nice, the archer animation. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a fall on anyone either. I think I might have a couple of Marth though. Let's give one to <laughs> a, a few, yeah. <laughs> All right, here you go. Take some of these. I'm gonna convoy the steel bow for later too. Take out the iron sword. Be ready for that, because again, iron sword and rapier is the same might. And I guess we could put Rutger. No, we could put Bartra in the fort. There's no way these guys have seven speed now, right? No, they all have six. They all have six. Bartra is fine. All right, Bartra. Six. There's no random rolling stats, or uh, not here. From what I can tell, I don't think any of these will ever have seven. I think again, they, they rigged it to make Draug not feel useless. Hmm. Uh, this hunter has eleven though. We gotta watch out for him. Yeah, 11 speed hunter, holy. Yeah. Alright, I guess we fall Rutger and put in a range of one pirate. Uh, can he survive two? They only I mean, Bartra's already attack. fighting this guy, right? So, yeah, like, is. we can do the combined kill. I guess, like, if we want to put Rutger in range, it's because it would counterattack more people. Yeah. In this game, can't you actually, like, put your cursor in the boss and press L to, like, find out enemy move order exactly? Or is yes, that a thing you can do? I think so. So that would mean that this guy moves before this guy, etc. Uh, yeah. Don't... In particular, the top pirate moves first. So I think if Rutger is not the most attractive target for that top pirate, then he'll go for like 
Bartray and then the other one will go for Rucker? Yeah. They that seems like kind of a dicey manip though. It would be nice if I knew for sure that is how it works. What I'm worried about is that they might see Weapon Trying was like a thing. Uh, they mm -hmm. have like similar-ish bulk. Bartray is on the fort with effectively 5 defense. Uh, Rutger is not on the fort, but he has 6 defense. And well, here's we'll... the next question is do they 2 a KO Rucker? No, yeah, right? Because it's, it's 9 and 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 15 does not uh, kill Rutger. So I guess we could put him in range of 2 pirates and he's totally fine either way. There you go, send him in there. Alright, let's go. Let's just go. I don't, know, I, I don't want to block off their movement, so I guess like this is an okay space to go. Sounds pretty good, yeah. Alright, skill up. We do need the bomb, though. Yeah. yeah. We're like perfectly full of other ones. <laughs> Thanks, Marth. Uh, let's have Rosado over here with his 12 HP. And uh, Alm is a little behind now along with Oscar, but they'll catch up in a minute. That's just the story of this map, right? Mm -hmm. Like somebody's going to be out of position from this thief. Okay, so they like they like Bartray over Rutger. That's fine. That's cool. We get the fort healing, right? Huge value. That's ironically or unironically, yes. Okay, Rutger, calm down. <laughs> Dude, chill. I'm trying to set up kills with you. I purposely unequipped your steel sword so you wouldn't do that. And here we are. All right, almost got this under control. Uh, suppose what, the critting? No. Yeah, well, no, no, I don't have that under control. I don't have any control whatsoever. Uh, okay, so obviously Alm can't do anything, so this will be up to Oscar. We don't need all these attacks, of course, but if we're going to use Oscar this turn, it has to be on that pirate. Let's try it. We gotta feed Mortar a Boy Rosado, though, right? No, oh, for he's sure. Just chipping. I would like that. Come on, um, there's one kill away. Oh my get, goodness. Um, he doesn't get one shot he, by these. That's great. Oh. He and he double. Yo, he's so good. He's legit. So good. He's like our best unit. You got some good level ups in episode one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, I think there was like one stinker. There was one where it's like, ah, this was yeah, not very yeah. good. That didn't happen. All right, let's just, just get started with this and see where it goes. That's right. We just erased the record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess Har can use his Iron Axe now to do damage without killing and not missing a lot. It only takes four so. damage anyway. This is fine. Yeah. Oh, God. He's got so much bulk, man. He's strong. And uh, did you say Rosado kill? I, I insist. In, uh, in fact, goodbye. All right, Rosado level up. What's coming up? Banger, I'm telling you. Oh. Ooh. Who needs double digit HP? I'm sat here like popping off at HP, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Sometimes these things are just exciting like that. All right. I guess we've just encountered the next problem for Dorothy leveling is she's usually the best for weakening enemies, not killing them. I mean, well, you know what? If she's the best at weakening enemies, then she'll just remain the best at weakening enemies, right? Uh, Who needs to level up? I I'm sure we'll never I'm get saying. another good bow unit. That's right. Yeah, no, never. In this video game. Oh, we could put Rucker in range of one boy or no? Uh, I mean, you can, you can double this Hunter. He's quite good at that. I don't know uh, if I want to fight that guy yet. I was like 11 speed hunter, impossible. We will never beat this guy. And then here Rucker is just like, no, nah, I'll, I'll just double my iron sword. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just keep the fort. Yeah, get the fort healing. Oh, no, but Rucker's oh, out of position. He's coming. All right. Oh, Lord. Rutger, don't crit the enemy challenge. Impossible. What is this? It's an FE6 mirror. That hunter has two range move. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There's a lot of ways that FE6 and this game are similar. And this is just uh, one of them, apparently. Yeah, right, Rosado. isn't this map like a... Uh, I mean, I guess it's FU6 that like, copied this one. Do you remember right. how much HP this guy had? Because I think Rosado might have one-rounded him by himself. Just anyway? <laughs> it's okay, we're getting chippy XP for Rucker, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the point. That's right. Also, I mean, Marth is so good, he doubles pirates too. Like, what the heck? What the heck? He does not die in two hits either. Like, he could just, he could just stand here and take him. He's that good. Yeah, no, right. just run, run everybody else away, yeah. yeah. Let's get the heart in here. Let's see how I can take these out. 14. Yeah, oh my goodness. Running. All right. Let's go we're, we're literally cheating, Mecha. Yeah, this our units are like... too good for chapter one enemies. We need that enemy buff to come in stat. Mm -hmm. all right, it was all here. that tutorial. Mm -hmm. 15. But Rocket also doesn't, doesn't get two shots, so he'll be fine here. From next to Barth. Next to Barth. With Dorothy right behind. Next to Barth. Next Please to Barth. tell me Barth's in this game. Mm -hmm. I'm literally going to pay you so much money to put like Barth in this game. <laughs> That Barth would have some hit issues even in this game. What? No way. He, how much speed does Barth have? Like five? Speed? Yeah. Uh, it, it is more than four. I know that. So probably five. Oh, that's like good. He's, he's legally allowed to double. <laughs> I told you. I thought you said these were hard growths. Yeah, no they way. are. They should be. I mean, it's I haven't impossible. looked at the game data. I just, I just told Rad what to do. 
Oh no. Brad pranked you? That's what's happening. I'm pranked. Marth can double the pirates, but to what end? Okay, oh. we kind of have like our entire army over here, so. Yeah, their entire army versus our entire army. Who will win? Yeah. Everyone is going to die. Uh, yep. In a way, you are correct. Alright, I'm just all do the pirates. I, haven't, I don't think he's had a chance to flex yet. Alright, let's go. Oh, what? 15 damage. I'm just like completely better than Bartray in every way right now. He'll destroy these bastards. Strength. Again, there's no plus speed. Who cares? It's plus strength. All right. That's all he needs. Bartrid's catch up time quick. Or it's too late. Impossible. You gotta give him like one level, right? Yeah, it'll be like perfect level and it'll still be worse. I'll try to feed this one to him. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try. Who the boss? Uh, yeah, I guess that's that's one way. Uh, Rosado? Oh, I guess, yeah, sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get out of here, Mr. Pirate. Dude, this guy's insane. This Rosado unit. Kinda good. Uh, we will go for... Rutger, if I give him the chance, let's not give him the chance. I need to feed that to Bartre. Mm hmm. Bartre, come I need here. to, like. I got to feed you. Uh, Marth, keep hiding. Alright, I don't want to pay my Jagan tax, guys. Please. We're having have my like, Bartre kill. The entire army retreat just so we can get a kill on Bartre, of all people. You're not wrong. Alright, good job, Har. Now we just bait him into, using, into fighting Bartre. Alright, Har, run. I think we're, uh, we have flyers. Goodbye. Uh, Rutger run. It's a Mark. real thing. Two flyers in this map. Yeah. It's actually nice. OP. Yeah. They're, I didn't get the chance to like do anything special with them because we were stronger than the enemies, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to be able to just hide from enemies every now and then. Okay, Bartray. This is your chance. Time to get speed. The 1v1. He gave us the fort too. Let's get it. Speed, please. 40% every time. Speed, please. Bartray, please return. I summon you. Oh, it, oh we got it. We, we got it. We did get what you asked He's for. Viable. Yes. He's viable. <laughs> Bartray is viable. Bartray is live, everyone. Bartray I is know. live. He, he meets our highest standard of not getting doubled. Yep. And we're on the verge of recruiting another character from that village over there. It's supposed to be Reese. I was about to say, I was like, oh, we're going to get Riss, we're going to get a healer. Like, no. <laughs> no. a ROM hack raises. We could get a brand new unit. It's actually just going to be Riss still. <laughs> it's just, Somebody was it's like, dude, good. it'd be sick if you just still got Riss. There are units that are not replaced. Uh, Reese is not one of them. I was about to say, there's Marth, yeah? Like... Yeah. <laughs> Marth is not a one, that's true. No, our not healer is... No way! What do you think this is? Warrior Man? Okay, uh, oh gosh. I have no idea. It's gonna be okay. Is it? Is it an actual pre-promote? Yes. Like okay, okay. It's also gonna be like Basilio, but that's dumb. No way, <laughs> dude! I'm so good. Impossible. It is Basilio. Look at this guy. 60 HP, <laughs> bro. Who made this unit? So. Basilio was submitted by spam, and obviously I can't just take Basilio from Awakening and say, all right, here's Basilio with his normal bases and growths, have fun with this. So yeah, I know. <laughs> what I did is I just gave him the warrior bases and his Awakening growths uh, and 60 HP to work with, because I think at the base game he has like 70 or like 69 base HP or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, just stupid high. Yeah. Um, but every, every other stat that he has is kind of shit, and he also grows very slowly, and he has terrible weapon ranks, so he's kind of like Setgar. Uh, if Setgar had a good base HP, you could say, and he was a warrior that can't reclass into anything else, where Setgar can go general. So, mm -hmm. it might look ridiculous that we get a character with 60 HP in Chapter 1, and it, it possibly might be. I never claimed that this would be balanced. However, hear me out. Healing in this game, uh, limited healing, is absolute garbage on a per hit points, cost, bases. Uh, I can't really show it right now because we don't have a healer, but you know, vulnerabilities heal 10. We don't get like 20 HP vulnerabilities from con con concoctions. Um, yeah. And if you ever use like a normal healer in this game, you notice they heal like a little bit more than a vulnerability, like 14 max or something. That's like a high magic unit. Mostly you have like Riss and Lena healing for like 11 or 12 HP. It's absolute garbage. It's like 10 plus magic divided by two or something garbage like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's like magic divided by three or something. It's even yes. like even worse. Which to be fair is the same as you know Basilio's game. Like Basilio's game also has a pretty crap healing formula, but yeah, you know it. 
also the people in his game have like 50 magic, so it's kind of different. Like, yeah. And uh, breakdown the enemies don't hit super hard. Like a, a part from this chapter, I think would do 16 attack, like 11 damage to him. So he'll be able to take like four hits before dying, maybe five, maybe it'll be less when we go on. Uh, the trouble is when Basilio gets low on HP, it'll be very hard to get him back up without something like, I don't know, an elixir from a DLC shop. I think that's like the, the recover staff would be the one way to get him back up to full, but you don't get that for ages. So Basilio will be in that early on will be taking a lot of hits to die. But then when he is actually low, it takes so many resources to get him back up. And your audience might need healing too. So I'm curious if this is actually going to balance out the massive HP and the big growth rates that he has. Of course, if you do level him up, then he's going to get that 50% defense growth every now and then. He's going to get 70% strength. He's going to get one 10% HP. Well, that's probably capped, so that probably doesn't work. Yeah, uh, no. I think the HP cap in this game is uh, 60. So he'll get better, but I don't think his defense is going to grow very fast because it takes like... 10 kills for him to get a level up, if that, whereas most units will need like 3 or 4. So, yeah, yeah. I wonder if this unit will be balanced. I honestly don't know. I want to I want to see the ex the HP experiment work out, but um, I, I don't know if it will. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I'm kind of a little pessimistic. So as far as like the EXP gain goes, you're breaking that up, and like, we've seen Har's EXP gain, even then, like, okay, he levels up and gains some stats. I don't really, like, I mean, look at just how far ahead Har is in general already, right? And a lot of that is his, like, you know, his double-digit strength and his double-digit defense, right? Uh -huh. As compared to Basilio, who's, like, still kind of in the gutter as far as that thing's concerned. I think, like, definitely just having tons of HP, just being able to absorb enemy attacks and bait enemy attacks is going to be very valuable. And probably, yeah, what's going to happen is he's just going to, you know, run out of gas somewhere during a chapter and we're just going to, like, give up on him and leave him behind. But that's not to say that he's bad. Obviously, he was valuable for taking the few hits that he did. But... Like, I, I I don't think this is a unit who is going to do a whole lot other than bait out 60 or, well, 59 HP worth of enemy uh, <laughs> combats at most, right? So, yeah, we'll if I'm see. looking at it, like, it, it, we'll, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong and this guy's actually gas, but I, like, I'm kind of looking at the strength and defense and being like, okay, what actually is, like, the end result of using this guy? And it's like, well, it takes some damage that someone else doesn't take. But this is like this is the full tank of Fire Emblem, right? We're we're back to playing MMOs. We're in healer tank DPS mode, yeah. So yeah. this is the full tank. That's true, and it's possible that maybe with four healing he does better because I think that's a percentage of your HP rather than um, you know. Oh, true. He gets like twelve or something. Yeah, Holy. it says heal twenty, which I'm assuming means twenty percent of your HP. So that'd be twelve HP healed per turn. Uh, to counteract that, though, like we might run out of vulnerabilities at some point to yeah. heal with. <laughs> so that's a double-edged sword, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you can also do the Kids World thing with him and just like start chipping this boss down forever because oh, no. there's no safe way to engage this boss uh, for a lot of units in Vanilla Shadow Dragon because 15 strength, 11 speed is just way too much to deal with. And it demolishes everybody. Yeah, yeah he like he, he doesn't really do as well against these units because most of them feel a bit better than the Shadow Dragon equivalents. Uh, but he does double arm, for instance. Uh, he one-shots Rosado. Uh, Basilio probably survives a round of combat with him but then has the wrists... Well, he survives two rounds, and then he has to chill he out. He's like perfectly crit. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's bad too. That's usually just not like an issue. home run good luck. Home. Yeah, warrior base is having zero zero um, luck is also bad for him. I guess I didn't notice that before, but uh, yeah, he's gonna face crit from everything too, so that's also a problem for him. Uh, I suppose Rutger would be quite alright though. I think he survives at least one hit. Probably doesn't even get hit all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have Dorothy and Basilio, right? So uh, there's yeah. no point like beginning now, right? Because doesn't Gazak just heal more than this four that we're gonna deal? Actually, yeah. I think he heals three. So yeah, it's just for one. gold rank, really, and like lance rank. Like in vanilla, this is where you get a bunch of lance rank on someone like Abel, because oh, yeah. you have to chip him down with javelins no matter what you do. Although we could double him with Rosado, so maybe we'll go down a bit faster. Yeah, wait, Rosado was like demolishing. Well, demolishing this guy is maybe putting it kind of strongly, yeah. but like it's pretty good performance, I'll told. Mm -hmm. Marth is like, because our Marth level up so well, he's not getting wrecked, but I think normally in Shadow Dragon, Marth takes like one hit. And the problem is like, not that units cannot survive one round of combat, but like, look at the healer options you even have in Shadow Dragon. You can heal 10 HP with Riz, and you can go to that fort over there that um, Oscar's chilling on. That's it. That's all your healing that you get. Yeah. And a couple of volumes, I guess. But, I mean, if, you look, if Rutger gets hit and then heals himself, he's still in killing range, because 19 plus 9 is still a kill. Yeah, you have to like enemy phase, player phase this guy, and even like even that's kind of dicey because you can still miss. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a safe point either to make it a bit more reliable, unlike with the later bosses. But at least this one doesn't have a hand axe, so you can just do this for free. A bunch of yeah, times. no, we're not here breaking the hand axe or anything. 
All right, that's uh, that's our tip for today. All right, a couple more. That's all we had on the schedule. <laughs> Good old Gazak. Uh, I don't think Martha's build supports with people, but let me just put him near her anyway. Uh, Rutger, if you crit this guy, I'll be really very pissed. Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay. Who gets the kill? That's a good oh, question. Oh, Rucker level? All right, let's see who we get. Oh. The classic? <laughs> check his strength growth. Check the ROM. <laughs> I actually do want to check the ROM as strength growth now. Okay. Goodness. Uh, I'm tempted to do Rosado. I'm tempted to do Bartre. I suppose well, we've Bartre already got happen. the Bartre level, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like Dorothy deserves a kill after all the chipping she's done. A kill. Not just any kill, but the boss kill, right? Let me try this first. All right, sorry, sorry, Dorothy. Maybe next time. No, it's never going to be a next time for Dorothy. No, 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 no. There's like three more chapters where she's free, all right? Oh, Reventioner, straight away. Rip. <laughs> all right. I'm kidding. Another Vuln for us, and that's uh, chapter one cleared in 11 turns. Get our lovely oh. victory music. And we can move on to uh, chapter two for next time, where we'll meet yeah, Ogma and the gang, or whoever replaced him. Yeah, Ogma and the gang. And Darrow's, don't forget. Holy. Oh, yeah. Darrow's as well. And the, the three. Darrow's Castor. Yeah, Castor Man. as well. Yeah, there's like five new units in that one. Just erasure of units out of here from Mecca. No, I'm really looking forward to seeing who like replaces that whole gang. It's, uh, it's, it's not going to be who you expect most of the time. Probably. Maybe. <sighs> expectedly. Possibly. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. See you next time.